I asked ChatGPT to find out the frequency response of this subwoofer. It's a JBL sub 140 bar 230 model, 8 inch ported subwoofer. So, do you know what was the result? It is made in China and it's a powered subwoofer and it came here for a minor repairing. I have removed the board from here. I need to check and find out what is the real problem with that circuit. The output section and everything is okay, but something is there in the pre-section, I think. So I need to find out that. And here is the container for that board to make the air sealed inside. And let's keep it here. Now, you see it's a ported enclosure. The flare round port. JBL 8 inch woofer is here. So let me show you what just happened after I asked ChatGPT to find out the frequency details. What frequency is the port tuned for? That's what I want to know. If you want to get some data from ChatGPT, we need to provide a brilliant prompt. That's the main key factor that you need to consider while you are dealing with chat gpt so here i'll show you the screen record so the prompt first prompt is a bit larger and i'll just read the main thing and the thing i really asked is can you tell me the frequency of a tuned subwoofer box port if i provide you complete measurement of the box what else dimension do you want for that here's the response of chat gpt it's a free version not a paid version and you know something the free version itself can do wonders uh, response is yes i can calculate the port tuning frequency fb of your subwoofer box to do this i'll need the following details and the details that i need to produce is internal box volume in liters or cubic inches okay if you provide the outer dimension that means the outer dimension is the measurement from here to here not the inside measurement and if you provide the outer dimensions let me know the wood thickness so i can estimate the internal volume and the next detail is port diameter if it is circular port provide the inner diameter and if it is a slot port give height and width and the next thing is port length the total length of the port from start to end and the last one is the number of the port in some subwoofers you can see two or three ports so in this subwoofer we have just one port so that's enough so use a tap and measure the dimension like this this is the outer dimension it's a fiber fitting something like fitting on both sides here so this area is the wood this piece is the wood so i will measure from here to here and for precise and accurate measurement i am measuring in centimeters so it is 45 centimeter sorry it is 25 centimeters the width is 25 centimeters and the height is 36 36.5 centimeter and the depth is 35 centimeter that's the box measurement outer measurement so i'll be typing it here now we need to measure the wood thickness the wood thickness is 18 mm that means i already given the uh, given the previous dimensions in centimeters so the the wood thickness is 1.8 centimeter so the inner diameter must be to get that almost 45 centimeter oh sorry not 45 centimeter it must be 4.5 centimeter so 4.5 centimeter now the port length this thing is port length yeah. it is 16.5 centimeter so that's all the measurement that we need to calculate the fb let us see what will happen after some seconds the uh, measurement is here step one is to calculate the internal volume 
we subtract twice the thickness from each the each external dimension okay so then it calculated the internal width internal height internal depth now calculate the internal volume there is an equation vb is equal to width into height into depth and vb is equal to 22.19 liters see how easy it is and there also you can see an equation or cross-sectional area is equal to pi into d by 2 square equations used by engineers to find out the values to find out the dimensions you see so finally the it is let me now compute the exact tuning frequency the tu tuning frequency of your sub four box is approximately 29.2 hertz this means the water enclosure is designed to enhance the base output around this frequency you see that around that frequency that not exactly that frequency so wait for the real frequency response of this box let me know if you need any adjustments and you know something what's the exact measurement exact port tuning it is around 35 it is around 35 you see, you see how close it is 29.2 to 35 around 35 and what we got is around 29 in my previous video i have shown you a box to build a subwoofer at your home itself that was the video and below that there was comments coming from people like this is ai era so why don't you use ai to find out the exact value of the box dimension so that's why i showed you this type of measure uh, this type of calculation in this video so in the next video we will try for subwoofer box measurement try for subwoofer first and after that we will try for tower box and various type of enclosures so we will try for a subwoofer box to measure the to find out the dimension using chat gpt what do you say if you want a box dimension then the parameter should be correct and that woofer should match that parameters there must be fake parameters for some woofers i have seen fake parameters just the manufacturer produce some kind of data for s parameters and they say they have parameters but the parameters must be fake we need to check also if they are real or not from genuine sites or genuine products if you are buying such a genuine product then the parameters must be it must be perfect so you can use that parameters to find out the asset that box dimension so if you get a box and you need to know you are not aware of the frequency uh, range of that box and if you want to know which frequency or what frequency response that box have and if you want to buy a woofer to fit to match around that frequency then only it will perform best if the frequency of the woofer and the port matches exactly matches or uh, almost when it matches only the output sound will perform the best to buy that woofer you need to find out the exact value exact frequency range so that is what i have done now to find out the value of this box so do you find this video useful then please hit the like button there here is the video that i have shown you how to make a subwoofer at your home itself by yourself 